We're here at ITU Telecom World 2015 in Budapest in Hungary and I'm very pleased to be joined by Mr. Hiroshi Tominaga who is General Manager of Export Sales for the Japan Battery Regeneration Inc. Uh, Mr. Tominaga, thank you very much indeed for being with us today. Thank you very much. Now you're here uh, with uh, the uh, Japanese uh, pavilion, yes, and, yes. Uh, uh, but you have your, your own uh, company here, your own project. Perhaps you could tell us a little bit about it. Yes. Oh, okay. So I'll explain what we do. Okay. We market uh, additive for lead acid battery, which is patented and uh, created by a famous ex-professor. And uh, uh, his name is uh, Dr. Akia Kozawa. And he's uh, one of the greatest uh, researcher in uh, lead acid battery. And uh, he knows about battery, secondary battery, which is a rechargeable battery. He knows so much about that. And he came up with a solution to extend life of a, a lead acid battery. So he created an additive activator to lengthen the life of a lead acid battery. And we market into the world. And we are a small venture company, but the technology is great. And uh, there is a huge possibility to utilize our technology. And uh, for this ITU uh, world, we think our additive can be used to regenerate old abandoned lead acid battery maybe lead acid battery used for electric forklift or electric golf cart. Those are expensive, heavy battery. And uh, after several years, it, it's disposed and thrown away. But uh, with our technology, our additive can extend the battery life like uh, two times. And also our additive is useful for doing a regeneration of a old abandoned lead acid battery. So what we want to do is uh, to collect uh, old lead acid battery used for such uh, electric uh, forklift or something, heavy, big, expensive battery, but uh, they throw away. And we recycle with our technology and the regeneration uh, technology using our additive. Now that could have, of course, an amazing environmental impact. Yeah, yeah. With uh, the uh, telecommunication industry, of that's course, right. that that's, uh, that that could be very, very yes. important indeed. What uh, kind of feedback have you been receiving here at ITU Telecom World? Oh, okay. Because uh, this expo is mainly for uh, those cell phone, uh, wireless uh, carriers, those things, and uh, we are unique to be here because we handle uh, additive for lead acid battery, but. Uh, you know, uh, like uh, for developing countries, our technology will be very useful because uh, they, they need uh, electricity and uh, there are many unelectrified areas in developing countries and uh, in a re remote rural area. They don't have power, but uh, they need a cell phone, they need a computer, my home, uh, personal computers to get the information. So to do that, uh, electricity is very important. In some area, solar power, solar power generated electricity can be stored in old abandoned lead acid battery, which is regenerated using our additive and uh, our know-how to regenerate. So has ITU Telecom World provided a, a good forum, a good uh, platform here for conversation? Yeah, for yes, you? because uh, some uh, important ITU staff from Japan uh, found us and they thought we are very interesting to give a benefit to this world. So that's why we're here. <laughs> Well, we wish you the very best of luck with your project, yes, and uh, yes. I'm sure we'll be hearing uh, a lot about you again in the future, yes. Mr. Tominaga. Thank yes. you very much. Yes, indeed. thank you. Thank you. Thank you very much. Arigato gozaimasu. Arigato. <laughs> okay, thank, thank you. you.